welcome back to my channel and welcome to another project pan video some of you are probably getting tired of these project pans and if you are I'm sorry but this has been my first year doing project pans and I just had so much fun with it so lately I've been feeling just bogged down with all of my skincare so I thought it'd be really fun to do a skincare only project pan and I'm just gonna be running this for two months from now until well, actually like two and a half from now until January 1st. So basically I have 12 skincare products that I want to try and finish up before the end of the year, get them out of my collection. Some of them are favorites. Others were old favorites and I found other things to replace them and I kind of just need to finish them up. So if you guys are interested in seeing the 12 items that I'm going to be trying to get through in my skincare collection in the next few months here, then just keep watching. All right, you guys. So first up here, I have my Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. I used to use this all the time. Time. As you can tell, I'm almost done with this, but I have basically just stopped using this over the last few months, and I kind of just grew sick and grew bored of this. I want to try other micellar cleansing waters. This is really the only one that I've ever tried, but like I said, I just found, found it hard to like force myself to use this, and... I mean, I know, like, I feel like it'd be wasteful to throw this away because I know, like, I like the product, and the product does do what it's supposed to do, but I just haven't been reaching for it. So this is kind of what inspired this project pan. I figure if I'm doing a project pan and I'm thinking about it and it's front of mind, then maybe I will just finally get rid of, finally go through this and I can get it out of my collection without feeling guilty. All right guys, next up is my Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist. I have about half more of this. I'm about halfway through this. This is another one that I do really like. I just forget to use this and this is a really great one. In the morning I use if I'm not wearing makeup but I want to just give my skin a burst of hydration or I use this kind of like in the middle of my skincare routine at night but again this is one that I just don't always reach for because I kind of forget it's there and I thought this would be another good one to try and use up. I like this like I said but I also like my Mario Badescu spray which I feel like does relatively the same thing. I know that they have different ingredients but this is $15, the Mario Badescu is $7 so I probably won't repurchase this but I still think it's a good product. Next up I have this Drunk Elephant TLC Sakari Baby Facial. This is just a mini. I just got this in my Allure Beauty Box and I have not used this yet but I want to use this up and decide whether or not I like it and if I do I'm going to purchase the full size at the Sephora VIB sale but I thought this would just be a fun one to kind of include again I feel like sometimes I'm just really bad about forgetting to reach for things or I just have like my set routine and I have like a specific thing that I like for it's hard to like with makeup you can play around with it but like with your skincare it's not like you want to put eight serums on in a day you know what I'm saying and like there's always like that one serum so that, that's just your best serum, your go-to, that you found in love, but you have all these other serums now in your collection that you had while you were trying to find the your like best serum. Are you following me? Next up I have this Grown Alchemist oil, which I really, really like, but I also have a fresh beauty, a fresh one, a one from fresh that has buckthorn in it as well, which is what this one has. These basically are like the same oil, I swear. So I just want to, I have less of this one. So I want to finish this one and then go back to my fresh one, but I don't want to have like two open at once that do the same thing. So I just want to finish this up. I really like this so far. I'm, I don't think, I don't think you'll be able to see, but I'm right here. So I still have quite a bit of this left. And I know I only have like two and a half months, so this will be a stretch to finish this. We'll see, but this is one that I would really like to use up. And again, I think the fresh one, the fresh one is definitely cheaper when you compare the amount of product you get to the price you're paying. So I'd probably just go with the fresh one in the future because again, I think they're like the same oil. Next up, I have this Hawaiian Facial Scrub Pore Purifying Pineapple Enzyme by Alba, by Elba Botanical. I really like the Elba Botanical brand and I do really like this. This is just another one that I feel like now I have other exfoliants in my collection that I use and I don't want to be exfoliating my skin every single day and this has an exfoliant in it that's like not the most gentle so I just feel like this no longer has a place in my skincare collection. I'm a little more than halfway done with this. I don't think this will be hard to finish by the end of the year but yeah I just feel like this one just doesn't have a place in my collection anymore. Next up I have this Tarte Fricks stick that I got in some sort of subscription box. Gosh, I hope it was less than a year ago, but it may not have been. I That's what this looks like rolled down, if you can see. And let me roll it up for you guys. 
there it is rolled up so I feel like I'm more than halfway through this usually I just use this on my nose and it it's really easy because you just rub it on your nose and it's supposed to detoxify your pores it has a little bit of an exfoliant in it and I do really like it this is just another one that I feel like I forget to reach for and I don't feel like it's an absolute necessity in my collection so I would like to just finish this up and kind of like have less clutter in my skincare collection. I just, I feel like over the past couple of months, I've really started to feel anxious when I look and see like everything in my collection. It just feels really cluttered to me. So that's another reason that like, I just really wanna get some of this stuff out of my collection. Do you guys feel the same way? Like when your medicine cabinet or your vanity or whatever just gets super, super full and it's just like, okay, like I just, I need to get, I need to simplify. Next up I have my Wild Rose Oil by Kors. This is their vit vitamin, bleh, wait. Yeah, this is their, yes, this is their vitamin C active brightening oil. I love this, this is a favorite of mine. This is um a deluxe size of this that I got in a set. I have this much left. So I have a lot of this left to use, but I seem to go through this really, really quickly. So I think I should be able to finish this by the end of the year. I have just been rushing to work every morning and I've been forgetting to reach for this in the morning. So I want to remember to reach for this. I do love this. I definitely will repurchase this when I, when I finish this one. And I would like to get through this because I'd like to pick another one up during the VIB sale, but I don't want to pick one up during the sale if I still have this much product left. So I just need to remind myself, girl, you got to use this. You gotta brighten that skin in the morning. Next up, I have this Belief True Cream Aqua Balm. And this is what it looks like right now. So I accidentally bought the Aqua Balm instead of the Moisturizing Balm. Shame on me. And I basically just need to use this to get it gone. I definitely prefer the moisturizing balm for myself personally. I definitely have more dry skin. If you have oily skin, you might prefer the Aqua Balm. But yeah, so this has, I don't know, I feel like I go through the Aqua Balm and the Moisturizing Balm pretty dang quick. And I'm about to like the ridge here is honestly where I would say that I am. Maybe a little bit higher. We're, you know what, we're going to go, we're going to mark this one. Because I don't really feel like taking a picture of my progress. I'm lazy, I know. Horrible YouTuber. Okay, so I'm going to go with like, I'm right about there. But... Once you reach like the bridge here, I feel like the rest of the product goes really, really quickly. So I don't think I'll have a problem getting through this by the end of the year. And again, this is one that I want to use up so that I can buy the moisturizing balm and not feel too guilty about it during the VIB sale. Next, I have this AHA Time to Clear Purifying Mud Mask. This is in like a deluxe sample size. I've only used this one time and honestly, by my best assumption... I'm gonna say the product, I'm like right about here. So I have like three fourths of this left to finish. This, I just, my mask collection is out of control and I need to like reel it in. And I get that I just, I got this in some sort of subscription box, but I would like to just either, I don't hate this product, like this is a good mask and I like to use it. So I don't wanna throw it away, but I just forget to reach for this one too. And I need to get it gone, so. Next up, you guys, I have my Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Mask. I used to really love this mask. This is where I'm at for product. I'm definitely below, like, the ridge here. This is one that, again, I used to really love. It's a really great moisturizing mask, but I feel like I loved this before I really got into skincare or understood skincare. I hadn't tried much when I first purchased this. And now that I have, there's just so many products that are just as good that are more affordable that I just don't need to repurchase this and now I've had this in my collection for quite some time so if I don't use this up it's definitely going to go bad. Winter is coming. I live in Minnesota. My skin's only going to get drier so this would be a really great time for me to get some good use out of this and hopefully get out of my collection by next year. And then the last product you guys is a fave but I just wanted to toss it in as like this is like a layup. This is like girl you're going to finish this because I use this every single Sunday. It's like my routine. I am going to be using it today because I'm filming this on a Sunday. I'm so excited. This is the Cora's Wild Rose. I don't even remember what they call this. So this is the two-step like brightening and resurfacing peel gel mask. My sister gave this to me. I love this. This makes such a difference in the texture of my skin. Again, I only use it once a week because I do have more sensitive skin or my skin can get super dry if I use it any more than that. But basically you go in with your first step, you let this sit on your skin for 30 minutes and then you layer this on, or for 30 seconds, you layer this on top for 10 minutes and your skin is resurfaced. So this is how much I have left for this. I feel like I maybe have 
oh, I'd say four or five, hopefully six uses left out of this. I will likely buy this again when I finish this. Again, I kind of want to finish this up before the VIB sale. That's why I'm kind of including it. But I'm also trying other resurfacing. I've been getting into like resurfacing mask, peel masks and stuff. So if I find one I like better than this, then there's no need in having more than one in my collection. But for right now, this is my like, this is my tried and true go-to. This is a really great peel gel mask. After that, that is going to conclude my skincare project pan and all of the items that I will be including. Let me know in the comment box below what skincare items you currently have sitting in your collection that just you gotta use up, they gotta go, you need to get them out by the end of the year. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, don't forget to do so before you go and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!